The following is a Broncos Broadcast Network production. Good morning and welcome to the Broncos Broadcasting Network. I'm Ashley. And I'm Jade. Here are the stories for this morning's broadcast. We have information on the upcoming UCF tour. And we will see how DHS students are surviving the heat. BBN News begins now. Today is Friday, September 8th, which is National Dog Walkers Appreciation Day and is also National Iguana Awareness Day. If today is your birthday, you share a birthday with Pink, Wiz Khalifa, and Bernie Sanders. If today is your birthday, happy birthday. Underclassmen School Picture Day is coming up on October 25th, with retakes being taken on November 29th. There will also be a softball interest meeting on Wednesday, September 13th at 2.15 in the Broncateria. There will be a National Honor Society meeting next Wednesday in the Broncateria after school. Please see Mr. Desheen in room 1302 with any questions. Davenport High School is offering a tour of the University of Central Florida. Here's Nathan with more information. The University of Central Florida is one of the largest schools in the country. Over 70,000 students attend this school in their search for higher education. Currently, Davenport High School is hosting a tour of this institution. For seniors who have a GPA over 2.5 and have passed all their state exams, so, are you excited for the UCF tour? Yeah, I am. I'm pretty excited. I've always wanted to go and visit colleges, which I never really had the chance to when I was uh, younger, about one year, two years ago. But overall, I'm pretty excited to go and see this college. Why do you think it's important that students uh, decide to tour their desired colleges? I feel like it's better for them to tour their desired colleges because it gives them a bit more of an insight as to if they really want to go to that college. Me, I have my desired college to go to is Florida Polytechnic University. And I have gone there and I've toured many times already, but I just don't necessarily think I'm ready for it yet. So going to see these other colleges will definitely help see for the one that I want to go for. And it's also recommended that you guys should also go and visit colleges that you might desire. This is Nathan Jeffrey with the Broncos Broadcasting Network. Today's ACT word of the day is informal, meaning casual and without ceremony. I wasn't expecting the party to be so informal and wished I'd worn sandals instead of heels. Please support the Ladies Quest We Care Lollipop fundraiser. A portion of the proceeds will be donated to the Sunshine Foundation to help make a dream come true for children who have profound illnesses or conditions. You can purchase lollipops from Miss Hodge in room 156A Miss Madden in 155A or Miss Hoke in 155D, but only during non-instructional times. Seniors, schedule your senior photos today. Caddy will be on campus on September 28th, November 3rd, and December 14th. Register at caddy.com slash schedule to secure your time. Tonight, the Broncos football team will play their second game of the year, this time against the Lyman Greyhounds. Tickets can be purchased using the QR code on your screen. There will be a boys basketball interest meeting on Monday between 6 and 7 p.m. in the Broncoteria. If you have any questions, please see Coach Jones. As the hot weather continues to raise the temperature in Florida, we ask DHS students how the weather affects them. I think it's too hot, too humid. How do you think the situation is affecting us as people? Uh, lots of people who work outside, it's going to burn them, it's going to make their situation uncomfortable. The weather today in Florida, I'm not going to lie to you, man. I'm thinking about coming here in a bikini. If it wasn't for dress code, we come in, we come in here in bikinis. I'm not gonna lie, my dad kicked, my, my dad melted. I'm not gonna lie to you, my dad melted. I have to, my mom kicked me out. She was like, the bill is too high. The bill is too high, you gotta go. You can't, can't keep that fan on. It's like, mom, it's too, it's too hot. Um, it's obviously very annoying and no one likes it. So it's horrible, horrible weather. It stops us from like going to hot places like, like the beach or water park, anywhere, because it's really, really hot. It's very hot. It's not even just that it's hot. I think it's the humidity, really. And just for that reason alone, like, you got to stay in the shade all the time. Like, you go outside the heat, feel like you're melting a little bit. And, yeah, it's really just the humidity. Like, if you have, like, 80% humidity rate, especially at practice, it'd be something different out there. Not worried. The heat is mad crazy. Like, I'm sweating bullets, Great. bro. Like, I'm melting. Like, I'm... Nah, like, I, ain't, I ain't even like, going front, bro. It's like, hot, bro. It's hot. Man, you come out here like a Sunday, Friday, and you coming out here like a Monday, Tuesday. Like, what, what is this like? About, am I in a volcano? Like, I'm sweating bullets. What am I, mother? Like, what? It's hot. Honestly, the heat, 
it's terrible, especially at practice where we got pads on. Uh, but, you know, we get water out there. We stay hydrated. Coach George always looking out for us. Shout out to Coach George and all the coaching staff. But, yeah, sometimes it be unbearable. But we, we fight through it. You know what I'm saying? Because we all fighters on this team. And we're going to win Friday. Come check us out. I'm Julius Lopez with BBN News signing off. Thank you for joining us today for Bronco News. I'm Ashley. And I'm Jade. Have a great day, Broncos.